Hello, welcome fellow traders. a and Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to talk about another new chart type that TradingView has recently released in their platform, and it's called the Volume Footprint Chart Type. Now, before we get started, I always want to point out that in order for you to access some of these new chart types, for example, the Volume Footprint Chart Type, you need a premium subscription of TradingView or above. So if you're using a version that's below premium, you're not going to be able to access the volume footprint chart type. Just make sure you go to TradingView's website, update your plan to either premium or higher, and you'll be well on your way in accessing these new exciting chart, chart types, such as the volume footprint. Now, if you're not familiar with volume footprint, a volume footprint will typically show the distribution of trading volume across several price levels within each bar. Now, this information from this chart type can potentially help traders analyze the buying and selling balance across levels within each bar and identify areas of significant liquidity. Now, in order for you to access the volume footprint chart type, just like all the new chart types that we demonstrated in prior videos, very simple. In your chart toolbar to the right of the time frame button, you'll see here the chart type button, and you want to go ahead and click it. And within the context menu, you'll see volume footprint. So you'll notice there's other exciting new chart types as well, such as volume candles and time price opportunity, also known as TPO charts. But for now, in this particular video, we're focusing on the volume footprint. So just simply choose the chart type button, and within the context menu, you want to select volume footprint. Once you do that, the volume footprint chart will be automatically applied right on the chart immediately. And one of the things by, by default, a chart will typically display will display a footprint for each bar with available intra-bar volume data. Now, the one thing that I want to point out, in order for you to see some of this data that we're referring to, you have to sometimes increase the bar spacing on your chart. If you notice right now, if you're looking at the chart, it's more of a condensed chart. The bar spacing is very close together, making those bars look a lot smaller. So how you increase the bar spacing is you grab the time scale on the bottom of the chart and just simply drag to the left. The more and more you do this, you'll start to see that data appear that we're referring to for the volume footprint. So I'm gonna actually make this very big just for demonstration purposes, and you'll start to see that data appear on the volume footprint within each one of those candles. So let's move the chart there, and there we go. Let's just make it a little bigger. All right, and here we go. So basically, when you're looking at the volume footprint, you know I'm not gonna go too deep as far as the deep, intricate details of volume footprint. I'm just gonna give a very basic general idea of what you're looking at. So for example, the default view that you're looking at right now will typically visualize the distribution of selling volume on the left, and you'll also see the buying volume at the right. All right, so pretty much comparing the volume values from both sides of a footprint will typically allow you to access the balance between buying and selling activity across levels and evaluate how the distribution of trading activity relates to price action. So typically unpacking bars this way can provide a more granular view of what happens during a bar's evolution and potentially help you determine how strongly buyer or seller pressure supports price movements. So pretty much when you add this particular volume footprint chart, this is going to be the default view. But if you wanna make any changes to your volume footprint, all you need to do is right click on the chart and within the context menu, you go to settings and make sure you click the symbol menu here and then you'll see all the different settings that you can adjust for the volume footprint. Be sure to change your parameters, change your colors, whatever changes that you want to make and simply click OK at the very bottom and those changes will be instantly applied based on the parameters that you set within the chart settings. And this is how you access the new volume footprint chart type using the TradingView software. 